Reading and Learning with Teacher Jake. Let's start! Our lesson today is about telling the time. Before we discuss, let us read our stories first. Julie's Day Julie wakes up at half past six. She eats breakfast and waits for the bus at quarter past seven. The bus arrives at half past seven and she reaches school at eight o'clock. After school at half past three, she goes home. She eats dinner at quarter to seven and sleeps at half past nine. Now it's her turn to read. Are you ready? Please read. Let us answer the following. Number one, what time does Julie wake up? What time does Julie wake up? A. Quarter past six. B. Half past six. Or C. Eight o'clock. B. Half past six. Number two. When does Julie eat dinner? When does Julie eat dinner? A. Half past seven. B. Quarter past seven. Or C. Quarter to seven. C. Quarter to seven. Number three. What time does Julie go home? What time does Julie go home? A. Half past three. B. Quarter past three. Or C. Quarter to four. A. Half past three. Good job! Let us go to the next lesson. Julie's Weekend On Saturday, Julie wakes up at half past eight. She plays outside at 10 o'clock and visits her grandma at quarter past two. On Sunday, she reads at half past nine and watches a movie at quarter to two. She sleeps at half past nine, ready for a new week. Now it's her turn to read. Are you ready? Please read.
Let us answer the following. Number one. What time does she wake up on Saturday? What time does she wake up on Saturday? A. Half past seven. B. Half past eight. Or C. Quarter past eight. B. Half past eight. Number two. When does she visit her grandma? When does she visit her grandma? A. Quarter past two. B. Half past two. Or C. Quarter to two. A. Quarter past two. Number three, what does she do on Sunday at quarter to two? What does she do on Sunday at quarter to two? A. Reads a book. B. Plays outside. Or C. Watches a movie. C. Watches a movie. Good job! Let us go to the next lesson. A day with friends. Julie has a fun day with her friends. She meets them at quarter past ten in the park. They play games and have a lunch at half past twelve. In the afternoon, they go to the mall at quarter to three. After a fun day, Julie goes home at half past six feeling happy. Now it's her turn to read. Are you ready? Please read. Let us answer the following. Number one, where does she meet her friends in the morning? Where does she meet her friends in the morning? A. At the mall. B. In the park. Or C. At her house. B. In the park. Number two. What time do they have lunch? What time do they have lunch? A. Half past twelve. B. Quarter past twelve. Or C. Quarter to twelve. A. Half past twelve. Number three. When do they go to the mall? When do they go to the mall? A. Quarter past three. B. Half past three. Or C. Quarter to three.
C. Quarter to three. Good job! Let us review our lesson today. What's the time? We have the hour hand and the minute hand. When the minute hand is pointing at 12, it shows a full hour and we call it a clock. Example, what's the time? It's 3 o'clock. When the minute hand is on the right side of the clock, we say it is past. You can say it's a quarter past or it's 15 past. When the minute hand is on the left side of the clock, we say it is 2. Remember, when the minute hand is on 12, it is exactly on the hour. For example, 3 o'clock. It is 3 o'clock. When the minute hand is on 3, it means 15 minutes past the hour. For example, 3.15. It is quarter past 3. When the minute hand is on 6, it means 30 minutes past the hour. For example, 3.30. It is half past 3. When the minute hand is on 9, it means 15 minutes before the next hour. For example, 3.45. It is quarter to 4. Let's try these. Half past six. Eight o'clock. Quarter past seven. Quarter to two. 